In July 2017, China celebrated 90 years of the People's Liberation Army with a huge parade of its military prowess. Chinese President Xi Jinping boasted that the People's Liberation Army has the capability of vanquishing all invading enemies. Bold words indeed, but is that really true? China has a 2.3 million strong army, almost a million more than the US. While it commands the largest ground force in the world, it is plagued by mobility problems. China lacks sufficient transport helicopters and still largely relies on trains for transportation across the mainland. The ground forces mainly exist to deter and manage conflicts with China's borders, and their goal is to increase mechanization by 2020. Figures from the Congressional Research Service suggest that China consistently spends 2% of its GDP on defense. Over the years, that money has gone into modernizing its forces. China's Cold War era legacy fighters that used to make up the majority of its air force have sharply declined. While fourth generation aircrafts like the J-10 and Su-30 now make up almost half of the force. Additionally, the Chinese have developed fifth generation aircrafts, the J-20 and J-31 which are said to rival their U.S. counterparts. It has also made a point of modernizing its naval vessels, especially in the area of submarines and anti-ship cruise missiles. China plans to increase its submarine fleet from 62 to as many as 78 by 2020, according to the U.S. Department of Defense. It is also undergoing efforts to build an additional aircraft carrier, as they currently only have one, the Liaoning. Nuclear weapons and their delivery systems have been big news in both Washington and Beijing recently. China, like the US, has intercontinental ballistic missiles buried inside underground silos. The 183-ton DF-5 has a range of over 7,450 miles and the capacity to carry 3.2 tons. On top of that, they have two mobile ICBMs with an estimated range of over 6,800 miles powerful enough to strike most of the continental United States. But the real strength to China's military power is its cyber capabilities. China has three types of cyber forces, specialized military network warfare forces in the PLA, PLA authorized teams of network warfare specialists in government organizations, and non-governmental forces that may be mobilized for network warfare operations. According to the Congressional Research Service, there have been numerous incredible reports that China has used cyber espionage to steal military secrets from the U.S. It seems for now that China does not have the strongest military for traditional warfare. But the 21st century battlefield will not just be on land, sea, and air, but in cyberspace as well. And in that area, China's military may indeed have the upper hand.